Hey, what's up guys? You're watching Theojo Tech, and I thought today I would talk about how recently it's been shown that smartphone sales and shipments have actually decreased in quarter one of this year for basically the first time ever. It decreased about 3% during the quarter to about 335 million units shipped. Now, obviously that's still a huge number of phones sold, but it's interesting, I think, to start talking about maybe why that would be. Ever since Apple introduced the first iPhone, it's really changed the world, but I think we're at the point where they're standard. You know, everyone has one. They're not the exception anymore. If you don't have a smartphone, you're kind of an outlier. It's almost like we're in the future, I guess you could say. So then if everyone has switched to smartphones though, then why are sales declining? Well, the general consensus is that people at this point feel less need to upgrade as often as they used to. I mean, when Apple first introduced the first iPhone, there was nothing else like it. They basically went from zero to 100, completely invented a totally new industry. And even though the first iPhone was amazing for its time, there was still plenty of room for improvement and I would be willing to bet that even when Apple first introduced it, they had long-term plans and features that they planned to release ahead of time. But if you really think about it, the first iPhone was very basic. It didn't have much. I mean, it had a phone, obviously. It had music, so it, you didn't need an iPod anymore. You could go on the web, which was a big deal. But for example, it didn't even have an app store. It had some very basic apps that it came with, and that was about it. But then all the following years, manufacturers, including Apple, even started releasing more amazing updates to an already game changer. You got the App Store, you had Touch ID for a fingerprint scanner, you had wireless charging, even though Apple still doesn't have that. Then processing power started improving. So for example, we got HD video camera capabilities, we had LTE 4G data, we had GPUs for 3D gaming, all sorts of stuff. And then finally, they started making bigger and bigger screens with higher resolutions, even up to 4K with Sony, and even better panel types like OLED. But at this point, it almost seems like we've reached a plateau. Sure, every new phone has some updates, but are these updates big enough to even care about? People are buying new phones less often because they know their current phone is good enough and will be for years. I imagine they look at a new smartphone announcement and think, do I really need a new high resolution screen? The one I have now is fine. Or do I really need a couple more megapixels in my camera or a slightly faster processor? Probably not. I think if smartphone manufacturers really want to revitalize the industry, they're going to have to innovate big time. It seems like truly cool features that are worth an upgrade are few and far between these days. For example, Samsung making their phones waterproof, that solves a real problem and is awesome. And Apple also introducing Touch ID, for example, super convenient. But then on the other hand, manufacturers make a huge deal out of the dumbest features like phone thickness. Does anyone really care how thick their phone is? Does it matter that much? You're going to have to put a case on it anyway. If you have what is essentially a $600 piece of glass and you're not putting a case on it, you're dumb. And Apple in particular has been incredibly disappointing lately. I wouldn't even say that they're the best smartphone anymore. There are way better options probably. Although I would give them a plus for ease of use, but that's about it. I mean, Apple used to be innovative, introducing features that no one expected or even thought was possible, but now they just push gimmicks like live photos and headline them as the best features. Are you kidding me? Meanwhile, they don't even have some big features like wireless charging yet. And they also reduce functionality by likely taking away the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. What's the deal with that? I guess the closest thing to a truly new feature Apple has done is 3D Touch, which does look cool, but still it's not that worth getting excited about. I kind of went off on a tangent, but my point is there's less and less reason to upgrade to a new phone every year like there might have been before. I mean, where do we go from here? A slightly better camera, battery, or screen? What I'm waiting for is a manufacturer to introduce a truly killer feature that just blows the doors off all the other phones and the industry. I'm talking about something really crazy. For example, a battery that can last a week and charges in five minutes, or a phone that's completely indestructible, or one that can project holograms or something ridiculous like that. Until then though, I think we can expect to continue to see a slump in sales as people start to realize there's not really that much these new phones can do that your current phone can't. So that's really all my thoughts. I'd be interested to know what you guys think as well. We can talk about that down in the comments section. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up so I know you liked it. If you guys wanna keep watching, see some other videos, I've got those on the right hand side. You can just click those or look in the description for the same link like if you're on a phone. And if you wanna subscribe, I try to make videos three times a week. So I think it should be worth it. I'm looking forward to hearing from you guys, either here on YouTube or on Twitter. So thanks for watching. 
I'll see you next time. Have a good one.